What up, motherfuckers, Mr. Matter Pin, this bitch coming at you, pre-recorded, that a motherfucker. So today, we got ourselves a Super Nintendo Classic Edition Hack Chi 2 tutorial. So welcome to this. Basically, the Super Nintendo comes with 21 games, and if you want to add more, you're going to need the Hack Chi 2 tool to add more games to your console. So first things first, we're gonna jump on Google and search for Hack Chi 2. Should be the first result. Get the newest version. You're gonna want Hack Chi 2.21D zip. But just download that and uh, save it to like your desktop or something like that. So we end up with this folder, Hack Chi 2. And this is everything you need right here. All right, at this point, you can turn off your Super Nintendo. I mean, it shouldn't be running in the first place. We're gonna use the same plug that it comes with. We're just gonna unplug this part and stick it into the computer. All right, once it's plugged into the computer, you could go ahead and launch Hack Chi. It's gonna say the publisher cannot be verified. You sure you wanna run the software? Why not? You wanna hack, right? So you're gonna get a prompt here. Choose your model. Says, hello there, I'm glad you're using Hackchi 2. It's very simple to use. Just click add more games, select some ROMs, press synchronize and follow instructions. Good luck. We are just going to add more games. Once you found your ROMs folder, go ahead and open that and just add them to the list here. It's got a list built in of all the ones that are incompatible with the internal emulator. So it's gonna use RetroArc or RetroArch, I don't know how to pronounce that, as the emulator for it, for the ones that require it. So just hit yes for all and let it process. I had one error pop up for me. Uh, it was like a Mario fun with numbers or some shit like that. It said the ROM was corrupted, but it dismissed it. So we're all good. I deselected all the games that aren't the original ones and I'm just gonna add uh, a few of them here. If you want the cover art for them, just kind of select every single one to right click, hit download box art for selected games now that that's done downloading to done then you can hit synchronize selected games with nintendo super nintendo mini hit yes all right so now we got a little dialog box here with a few steps saying to turn the system off it's off connect it to the pc with the usb cable which is something we've done already now you got to hold the reset button and turn on the power switch after a few seconds release the reset button and the power led is not going to come on and then just install the drivers so let's do that all right so i'm going to hold down the reset button then i'm going to turn the power button on made a little noise I don't have the driver, I'm letting go of the reset button. Now I'm gonna install the driver. It's gonna pop up this thing and install the driver for you. So now it says, would you like to install this software? Just hit install. The driver is installed and we're flashing the custom kernel. So let this do its thing and we'll see you in a second. So it says done, you can upload games to your Super Nintendo Mini, press okay. So now it's waiting for the device, it's uploading the games, processing the original games, the ones that it came with, and it's done. I'm gonna plug in the controller and double check everything. All right, that's plugged in and we can move around and see what games we have. So if you see the little folder here, press A on it and you will see your games that you added. And that's it, we got the original game. So that puts it in little folders for you. If you got a ton of shit, you can folderize it, which is nice. So have fun with this thing, add, add whatever you want. The beauty of it is this is still powered by the laptop right now and it's playing the game. So you can kind of do this on the fly. You know, you could see what games you upload, if it works properly and all that while you're hacking it. So that's pretty cool and that's it. You have successfully hacked your Super Nintendo Mini Classic Edition, whatever you want to call it. I mean, that's, that's the end of this fucking tutorial, man. Thanks for watching. Peace out.